All right, everyone, welcome to Rana's Radar. Let's show you some cars for sale. Let's see if you can find, if we can find what you've been looking for. But before all that, got to take a ride in this beautiful model A. Cam, how's it going? Doing well, how about you? Good, you got a pretty neat job, mate. Yeah, it's fun. What are you sitting in? So this is a 29 Model A convertible. We don't have very many of those. They come in pretty rare, but this one's going to be listed at 28,000, I believe. So 28,000. Okay. Well, I'm going to jump in with you since you're about to take this out to get more photos of. All right. Of course, I'm going to take up this opportunity, everybody. Okay. Well, it's pretty clean. Look how much room they've got in the back. Yeah. Plenty of room. And this is four doors. Yep, four door. And it's got the convertible with the, it should have a, a boot for the top too. I get to put on that for the photos, so. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. What are these buttons here for? So this one is just some sort of rest. Okay. Uh, they all have that, I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then this one is the starter button there. Uh, and that's your, your, uh, Throttled. Okay, so you're pressing the starter button and yep. yet you're pulling this. And then that's the choke there. Okay. And it should be. Just wanted to go. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. <laughs> First try. There we go. I mean, you said 20, what was the year again? This one, I think it's a 29. 29 Model A. And then we've got muscle cars from the 60s, 70s, classic Corvettes, of course the tri fives as well, including Cadillacs. There is a whole range here. Not to mention rat rods. They actually saw a couple of rat rods as well. Oh. Okay, what about this one? No power steering. So, Cam, how does it feel? It's pretty tough. It's tough <laughs> on this one. The tires aren't as wide, so it's a little easier than some of the newer cars without power steering. Right. But, yeah. Runs and drives good. You never know what I find. You never know what I get up to when I walk inside this dealership. So. Cam said he's going to take this out here to take some pictures of it. And I said, well, if you're turning it on and driving it, even if it's for a small little distance, I'm getting it. <laughs> no, this is super neat. All right, this is super cool. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to look at these cars up close and give you guys the prices. Can I have fun filming and taking pictures? Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Have fun looking around. I always do. All right, everybody, let's start right here in the muscle car alley is what I'm going to call it because there's a whole row of just muscle cars. Show you the cars, show you the prices. Classic gateway classic cars here in Nashville is where I'm at. And we're going to start off with the 67 Pontiac Firebird right here behind me. I'm going to show you the outside. Give you a peep on the inside. Very cool. So obviously this has definitely been restored. It's got 400 there as well. All right, now this is a Ford Torino GT. Looks beautiful. Love that stance. Okay. 
I don't know exactly what year, so we'll have to find that out. Nineteen seventy. This is listed for seventy thousand four hundred fifteen horsepower. It's a four-speed auto, blue on blue. Sixty-six Chevy Caprice, and it's listed for fifty-eight thousand. 327 V8 under that hood. Let's have a look on the inside. These look comfy. There's an award in the back I want to draw your attention to for the AACA Battlefield Regions Antique and Classic Car Show. It was second place in just 2021, which means that what we're looking at right here, as good as it looks on the outside, I'm guessing the undercarriage and the engine is pretty neat as well. Let's see what else have we got here. We've got a 72 Challenger. Do you like the classic Mopars everybody? I don't know if they had that split bumper at the bottom. You guys let me know. 1972 Dodge Challenger, beautiful Mopar green, 68,000, three-speed automatic. Here's the details. Like I said, that stock number there, 1977-NSH. That's how you can find these online as well on gatewayclassiccars.com. Classic muscle car. Nice. Got a Chevelle Super Sport here. Now these prices are pretty high, but it is what the market is asking for for these Chevelles. I don't think I've ever seen one under 70,000, especially one that has been restored. You guys, a good look. Beautiful black. It's got pretty nice wheels. What are they wanting for this Chevelle? 100 G's everybody. <laughs> it's a lot of money but it's a beautiful car. Right, now we've got a convertible Chevelle. One that has been on the power tour as well only recently in 2022. Look at that 327. So this is a 68 Chevy Chevelle, everyone. $67,000 is the price for this. Use the sticker. It does have the 327 V8 as we just saw. Check out the inside.
So I'm here in the Nashville showroom and last weekend I was over at Atlanta where we had a great walk around with Corey who also gave us some awesome information on things like finance, financing and consignment as well. So top right hand I'm going to put the link to that video so you guys can have a look if you live in Georgia. But if you're here in Tennessee or surrounding area closer to Nashville then this is a pretty big showroom. This is one room here and then there's a whole two other rooms so I'm going to do my best to show you and give you guys a variety. Now we've got a Camaro here, 67 Camaro, $64,000. Bit of a radical paint job right here, check this out, got to go show you the mirror. Camaro RS, and this is listed for 53000 It's a 1968. It's got 396 cubic inch V8 under the hood, and it does got a turbo in there as well, which would explain the 53 grand asking price. I'm guessing someone had a lot of fun in this. This is beautiful. No sticker means it's probably just come in or it's going on the auction. So you'll have to go on to gatewayclassiccars.com and just type in Camaro and see if this one pops up if you are interested. But let's move things along. Had a look at a few Chevys. Let's have a look at the Mustangs. A few here on this row. All right, so this is a 65 Ford Mustang GT and it's listed for 46,000. I'm going to show you guys the insides as well and then check out the prices for those other Mustangs beside it and see how they compare to one another when it comes to the price and quality. Awesome seats. Check that out. This is beautiful though. There's some cool ghost flames happening on the hood of this one. 67. And this one is listed for 40,000. Might walk around there and show you guys the gauges as well. I do read the comments, so I'll take the feedback on board. I know someone did mention that they wanted to see the gauges, so I'll try to see the interiors from the driver's side. Whether you're looking to buy classic cars or whether you're just looking at this video, to get inspired and get ideas on your next build or your current build it's fun either way and if you're liking it then please subscribe and give it a thumbs up keep me out here on the road loving the color on this no sticker but this is beautiful some people say powder blue i say baby blue very nice Do have another one, a little bit more worn. 66 Ford Mustang GT, and it's listed for 59,000. Come on, let's try, try to find some better prices for you lot. It's still a lot of money, but these are 
classic Mustang, so. Ford Fairlane, 74,000. I mean, this is ready to go. There's something about green on green. It just looks so luxurious. Check out the inside. Ever saw, ever since that I saw the Buick Invictor, Andy Leach's build, I'm loving green interiors. Yeah, this is a beautiful restoration done here. I'll put a link top right hand if you guys want to have a look at that one. I mean, that did win Riddler and so many other awards. But 67 Ford Fairlane GTA, 76,000. Here is the sticker. Then we've got something a little bit more later. It's the Roush Mustang, it's 2017. Much more on the higher price. This is listed for 114,000 but it does have the supercharged Coyote. So that explains that in my opinion, but check out the interiors. This is beautiful. I had an awesome time at Ponies in the Smokies a couple of weeks ago, where we saw the Mustangs and I actually got a chance to hear the supercharged and the turbo engines and see if I can spot the difference, but that was a lot of fun. Beautiful Mustangs, classic and modern day. Hey, a Lincoln street rod. Very different. The hot rod Lincoln. All right, let's find out the year and the price. Beautiful stands here, loving the nose right here. Oh yeah, someone definitely made this very comfortable. Price, this is listed for 50,000 and it's a 1941. Beautiful Corvette. This is a 61 Corvette, which is very rare, in my opinion. Let's have a look to see how original this is. Sixty-one Corvette, eighty-five thousand. Two eighty-three. This looks all original. See, they've got um, the middle console, the blue on the blue, that was definitely one that came along, and the wear and tear on this as well is definitely making it seem like as an original as can be. 1961. Let's come down on the price a little bit and have a look at the 73 Roadrunner right here. Nineteen seventy-three, and this is listed for thirty-six thousand. It's got the four hundred V eight in there. Check out the interiors. A little bit of wear and tear, but beautiful car. Paint still well, and for 36000 it's definitely a lot cheaper than some of the other muscle cars that we have seen. Right, 1962 Dodge Dart, everybody. Loving the red. Look at these interiors, wow. Alright, 
Great. Dodge Dart. Let's have a look at that sticker and find out exactly how much this is for. So I want to show you guys these wheels. Someone's taken a lot of care in building this. Loving that stand. See how it's slanting forward? I love that look. Alright, here is the paper, 1962. It's listed for 45,000. It's got the 440 Magnum V8 under the hood. Alright, let's go back in time to the 30s and 40s. Start off right here. We've got Ford Sunliner. Fun in the sun. <laughs> this is beautiful. Look at these seats, power seats, power steering, automatic. A lot of money into this restoration. Find out what year it is and that price. So it's a 55 and it's listed for 75,000. Well, I mean, it's ready to go. <laughs> Some cars just bring a smile to your face, or well, at least to mine. Let's have a look at the 48 Plymouth Deluxe. Forty-eight Plymouth, forty-six thousand. The listed price, but you know it's got air conditioning, aluminum wheels, CD player as well, tilt steering wheel, and it's got the white wall tires. Let's have a look at that. Something to draw the crowds at the local cruise in. 1930, it's a Model A Ford, but it's been built like a taxi. Unless it was a taxi of its time. I have no idea. Five cents a mile, wow. This does not look restored. It was a taxi, the Ford Model A's 1930 Ford Model A, and it's listed for 40,000. <laughs> so cool. Now I know that the Crown Vicks were used for police cars at one stage, but now you've got the Model A's that were used for taxis. I guess that just, you know, shows us about Ford and mass production at its best. That's how it all got started, but let's have a look at some of the larger vehicles. 67 Nova Super Sport. Very nicely restored. Resto mode, of course. Check out the interiors. I'll go around to the other side and show you guys the gauges from the driver's side. It's two tone grey, 67, and it's listed for 87,000. There you go.
Now we saw some buses um, in the Atlanta showroom of Gateway Classics. This is a lot smaller. It's no sticker price, but it's a lot smaller than the ones we saw last weekend. Um, today at this showroom, super nice people, but um, I'm gonna. Th I thought I'll just walk around by myself, show you the cars, and rely on the papers at the front of them to give you the, as much information as I can. So I hope you're liking this style, but it is just me by myself today. All right, we've got a 73 Volkswagen Thing, and it's a convertible. It's listed for 25,000. Now I've seen these in orange, bit of a different um, look to it. Definitely need some work. So how they list the prices here, everybody, like Corey told us from Atlanta showroom, people can sign their vehicles with them and they agree uh, on a price. So Gateway Classics, they don't set the price, whoever is um, bringing their car in for consignment, they set the price on. 55 Chevy Bel Air. Now we will look at a few Tri Fives and I know these prices are always right up here. Well, at least they are for me, because every time I look at it, I'm like, God, I cannot afford that. But this is beautiful, and it is in the high six figures. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nineteen fifty-five. Belle, beautifully done. I'm loving the interiors in here. Wow. I love that kind of a headline, everyone. Don't be surprised if you see something like that on my truck. This tan is beautiful. These Tri Fives are timeless, absolutely timeless, and the 55 especially. So let's see exactly what that price is. I know it was, looked like there was a lot of digits in that. Okay, it's 144,000. So under the hood, it's got the 5.7 litre V8 engine, and it's yep, it's paired up with the 700 R4 four-speed automatic transmission. Someone spent a lot of money. It's a Camaro back here. Seventy one Chevy Camaro and listed for forty six thousand. There's trucks, classic trucks on the in the other room, but I want to bring you guys here to show you this. Okay, looks like your regular beetle, classic beetle. But Cam was telling me earlier that this is a power stick or an auto stick. Automatic stick. Now what that means, no clutch. So you can shift gears just with the um, stick right there but you don't have a clutch which is super unusual and rare for this time in the car world. I mean, it's super convenient. I love that, which is why I like the paddle shifters. Um, you don't have to, you know, worry about the clutch, but that's what was happening. There is no sticker here, but it does look like it's from 60s, I'm guessing. Power stick. What is so many cars, such a big variety here at Gateway Classics cars of Nashville. That's where I am at. Let's check out some Cadillacs, everyone. We've got a 67 Coupe de Ville, 
gotta love the red. 